Hey, this is Daily Tech Mike. I came across an article on reddit.com. If you're interested in this topic that I'm going to talk about, the difference between band 40 N41 and band N71. So let's take a look and uh, I'm, I'm about to read off what it says and what the difference is and explain the whole difference between N41 and N71 it says here used to get banned N71 but recently I only get N41 does anyone know which is the best or the both if you're in the same predicament and you used to get N71 now you're getting N41 only in your area well this is good for you or if you just want to know some information about towers and the bandwidth and all that here's a little bit of information hope you enjoy this it says here 5g is divided into three main layers there is a low band which is amazing range okay speeds great for rural areas so if you live out in the country roads or the backwoods or anywhere that's got like rural area then you're good for this one Midband is good. It's a balance between speed and coverage. Great for cities. So if you live in the inner city and you're looking for some midband between you'll get good speeds, great coverage. In other words, that your bars you'll see excellent bars on your phone and the speeds will be good, but it won't be excellent. But High band is insanely fast, insanely short range, which means that in buildings, brick buildings, or in infrastructures like hospitals and stuff like that, it'll have short range and struggles to go through solid objects. Like I said, brick buildings, hospitals, uh, anywhere that has an infrastructure that's like brick or like very, very, uh, what do you call that, uh, hard to travel through says here that N71 is T-Mobile's low band 5G layer and N41 is their mid band 5G layer that they have been deploying a lot lately where I live here in Milwaukee Wisconsin what I'm getting because I live in a good area where I stay at I've been getting uh, anywhere between three to four hundred range on a good day but at night anywhere between five to six hundred range which is pretty good excellent when I looked at the map coverage for T-Mobile I pretty much get excellent speeds because Metro by T-Mobile uses uh, T-Mobile towers so if you have T-Mobile or Metro by T-Mobile. Here's what the frequencies that you would get on 5G. You get band N71, which is 600 megahertz. Band N4, which is the 2.5 that they deployed, because they acquired some spectrum from a Sprint when Sprint sh got shut down. They took their spectrum and they converted it into that 2.5 gigahertz band, and then they got band N260, which is 39 gigahertz and then band N261 which is 28 gigahertz well some so a major difference is the spectrum they use which affects how well they per, travel through walls and trees and around hills it says here what is the difference between R41M and R41PM so here's a screenshot of some people that are posted to reddit what they are getting on uh, T-Mobile and then here's an average speeds of what someone's been getting off and on 
And here's a screenshot of someone overnight getting five five times faster speed. See, for example, this is someone else's, not mine. Uh, they posted to Reddit. It was they're getting a uh, ping of 12 milliseconds with a 604.92 download and with a jitter of one millisecond with the upload of 119.52 with no latency zero loss well anyways this is just a little bit of information about the bands and also what's the difference between uh, N41 and N71 and 5G dividing into three main layers a little bit about that well anyways this is Daily Tech Mike I hope this is informative if this is if you like any of my content please subscribe to my channel if you're new if you're a past viewer and, and haven't resubscribed I'd appreciate it if you resubscribe uh, also don't forget to like this video or any of my videos help circulate my videos on YouTube Thank you very much. Peace out. Catch you on the next one.